Meteorites, remnants of celestial bodies that have journeyed through space and survived their fiery entry into Earth's atmosphere, come in various types, each offering unique insights into our universe. Broadly categorized into three main groups, stony, iron, and stony iron, meteorites provide scientists with valuable information about the early solar system. 1. Stony Meteorites Stony meteorites make up the majority of meteorite finds and can be further classified into two subgroups, chondrites and achondrites. Chondrites are the most primitive and contain tiny spherical particles called chondrules, providing a glimpse into the conditions of the early solar nebula. On the other hand, achondrites lack chondrules and originate from larger bodies with volcanic activity, similar to Earth. But two, iron meteorites. Comprising primarily iron and nickel, iron meteorites are known for their distinctive metallic composition. These meteorites likely originated from the cores of planetesimals, small celestial bodies that never fully developed into planets. The Widmanstetten pattern, a unique crystalline structure, is a hallmark feature of iron meteorites formed over millions of years of slow cooling in space. 3. Stony Iron Meteorites As the name suggests, stony iron meteorites combine characteristics of both stony and iron meteorites. They can be further divided into two main types, palisites and mesosiderites. Palisites are composed of olivine crystals embedded in a matrix of metal, creating a visually striking appearance. Mesosiderites, on the other hand, are a mix of metal and silicate material, often displaying a more intricate structure. Understanding the various types of meteorites is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of our solar system's formation. These extraterrestrial rocks offer clues about the processes that occurred billions of years ago shedding light on the conditions that led to the birth of planets and other celestial bodies. In conclusion, the study of meteorites provides